I wanted to show you one thing that is kind of an advanced lesson in creating chord charts in uh, Planning Center services, but it could be extremely helpful to those of you that are looking to create some of your own charts and want them to be easily editable and accurate all the time. Um, so I'm going to look at uh, Paul Luthi's version of Be Thou My Vision here, because you'll notice it is written on a Google Doc, or not a Google Doc, a Word Doc, um, which is helpful except uh, we can't necessarily guarantee that every computer is going to have the exact same formatting. It should be pretty close, but not guaranteed. Um, so if you look at this version of the song, and you look up here, we have a spot that says lyrics and chords. When I click on that, um, this brings us into a sheet music creator that is built into Planning Center Services. Um, I already took the liberty to write in the lyrics because uh, I just wanted to make sure that I was efficient with my time on here. Um, but I threw in the headings. Notice that when I wrote things like verse, or if I even write like chorus, um, it will come over here and it recognizes that that's a familiar word in a, like in a, a heading of a song. And so it automatically bolds it for us. Um, I typically even go all caps just to make it super clear. Um, but those, those are just uh, style things that I have chosen to do. Um, when I look at this though, and I want to put in chords, the way to put chords into these words, oh, uh, let me give you one step at a time. This side is the editing side. Um, so it, you'll notice I'm typing all of my things over here. On this side, this is the actual uh, view of what the sheet music will look like. Uh, so as you make edits on the left, um, it will show you on the right what the end result is, and it will kind of make those, those changes little by little on the way. So the way to write in chords, you could just go above it, just like this, C, be thou my uh, vision. And these chords make their way over, and it automatically makes, uh, if I can do two things at once, it automatically puts in uh, everything in the correct formatting. It puts them in bold and everything like you need to make it look good. I uh, prefer one more complicated version of this only because it uh, automatically spaces out words for me too. And so what I do when I do this, uh, I put the chords into the text in brackets. So it would look like this. C, B, the, my, F. Vision, O, oh, no, G, Lord, oh no, it is C. Okay, Lord of another bracket, my heart. Um, now, when I put these chords in here, um, I could put them in the middle of, of the word, and if there wasn't enough space, it would automatically create it would space out the words so that the chords work. Um, what I prefer about doing this version of writing songs, if we go back into the service, or into uh, the song, um, now when I add another key, like say we wanna add this in the key of D, I'm gonna hit save. It automatically makes a chord chart in the key of D as well, since we have the chords correctly put in. Um, so it makes for an easy ability to just put whatever key, whatever version we want into. Um, a couple things that you can, you can, or you should double check. You want to make sure that you have your correct key correct. <laughs> your correct key correct? You want to make sure you have your key correct. Um, if this is incorrect, uh, all of the, when it tries to transpose for you, it will be wonky. Um, there are some extra things if you want to uh, style the way that it shows up on the, the, the final sheet. Like if you want a, it into columns, if you want it in certain um, pages, to, you want it to break up. Um, there's more things you can learn in here. All that is great. The other thing that I would show you is you can switch uh, the way that the song looks. Um, you can pick a different font. You can change the font size. Uh, you can you can change a lot of the pieces in here to make it helpful. Um, 
for whatever you need on, on your team. But then you can download whatever you need and your team would have access to a correct copy. Now again, um, when we are trying to clean up our arrangements, you'll notice now I have two versions. Since uh, once this one is complete, I will get rid of this document that exists and we will only have one complete copy that exists that looks like this so that uh, teams always have a clean and accurate version of chord charts that they can work with. If you have questions, send them our way. Thanks team. Bye.